The Austrian Space Forum is a network of uh, space professionals and space enthusiasts where uh, we are on the one hand trying to communicate and, and, and convey the fascination of space exploration. On the other hand, we are doing a, a fundamental research project with a focus on Mars research. Right now we're here in Morocco uh, to do the most complex and uh, largest uh, Mars analog mission we've been planning so far. Since one and a half years we've been planning for this, more than 100 uh, volunteers uh, coming from 23 nations come here together uh, to, uh, to test and to study workflows, scientific instrumentation and all other aspects of a human mission on the Martian surface. Morocco to some extent has a lot of similarities to Mars. If you look into the topography, the mineralogy, there are many processes we also find on Mars. It's a large area, it's, it's literally uninhabited in the area where we are right now. So except for the wrong color of the sky, this is one of the best places for Mars on Earth. And that's the reason why we come here for Mars analog missions. Uh, the spacesuit Aouda X is basically a 45 kilogram spacecraft to wear and also a computer to wear. So what we're doing here, we are going out, out of the lab, we're trying to get our, the, the dirt below our fingernails, so to say, to see where are the breaking points if you're not just doing one or two EVAs, but working in the suit uh, or for, for, for dozens of EVA over a period of maybe a month or so to see where the breaking points are. At the same point, there, the same time, there are also many biomedical aspects we're looking at. There, we're looking at the psychological aspects as well. And of course, Aouda is only one of 17 experiments. So we're trying to integrate the suit into an entire suit, suite of, uh, of uh, experiments, which are likely to happen on Mars as well in 20 to 30 years from now. Communication is as vital for us as oxygen is for a human. Basically, our suit is producing a constant stream of uh, biomedical data, of engineering data and scientific data. And as soon as we lose the connection to the suit, we are blinded. So if something would happen, we couldn't even tell that there is a problem. So we have backup system for this. But again, communication is vital to our mission. It's a critical, critical component. And so basically what we're testing are things like uh, the ECG, the biomedical data in general, the gas composition, uh, CPU core temperatures and so on and so forth, just to make sure that we have a very good situation awareness of how the suit and more important how the suit tester are doing. As soon as you walk out of the lab and uh, work in a field like this, you immediately recognize there are many natural enemies ranging from dust, electrostatic charging, uh, the rough rocks and so forth. We're only trying to use the best hardware available, test it to the breaking point and see what the problems might be and how we can overcome uh, those obstacles. With the Polaris research program of the Austrian Space Forum, uh, we are trying to contribute a little bit to the grandest journey, the grandest voyage uh, of, of our generation, basically. So whatever the, the way to Mars will look like in 20 to 30 years from now, I firmly believe on the one hand, the first human to walk on Mars is already born now, and that we as Austrians at the Austrian Space Forum, together with partners from 23 nations, might uh, or will contribute significantly to this project one day. And this is a, a wonderful feeling. We sometimes feel like, like shipbuilders, enabling those fantastic voyages generations to come we'll talk about.